And there are more who could lose their fortunes, but not like Jack Ma. We all know these are challenging times for the global economy. Everywhere in the world, people are losing money. Many fear a recession is now unavoidable. In some countries, it is already happening. Leading economies of the world are contracting, which includes the United States. The U.S. economy is contracting, but the U.S. is not ready to accept that it is in recession. Let me share some numbers. In the first quarter of this financial year, the U.S. economy contracted by how much? 1.6%. Yesterday, fresh numbers came out. This is for the last three months, the second quarter. The American economy has contracted again, this time by 0.9%. The U.S. economy has contracted for two straight quarters. This is the definition of recession, negative growth for two quarters. But America refuses to accept this. It rejects the claim that a recession is here. Different officials are giving different explanations. The U.S. Federal Reserve Chairman says growth is slowing. That's all. The labor market is extremely tight and inflation is much too high. So I do not think the U.S. is currently in a recession. As I mentioned, it's true that growth is slowing. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has put her own spin on this data. She too says that the U.S. is not in a recession. Then what is it? Yellen likes to use the word weakening. She says the U.S. economy is getting weaker. Most economists and most Americans have a similar definition of recession. Substantial job losses and mass layoffs. Businesses shutting down. Private sector activities slowing considerably family budgets under immense strain, in some, a broad-based weakening of our economy. What about the president? What does Joe Biden say? How does he assess America's economy? The president is in total denial mode. Let me speak to one other issue, the GDP, and whether or not there, we are in a recession. Both Chairman Powell and many of the uh, um, uh, significant uh, banking personnel and economists say we're not in recession. So what have you heard? There is no recession. Growth is slowing. The economy is weakening. Three different people with three different explanations. It doesn't change the facts, however. It is a fact that the U.S. economy has contracted for two state, straight quarters. The U.S. government might not declare a recession. And yes, there are different ways to assess how an economy is performing. But if you ask the people of America, they're already feeling a recession. They feel the pinch of rising prices and the rising interest rates. Americans are no longer confident about their economy. Recently, a survey was conducted, and American citizens were asked what they feel about their economy. The results are revealing. Consumer confidence has dropped to its lowest level since February 2021. What are Americans worried about the most? Inflation, they say. They're worried about the price of gas, about the rising price of food items. Americans are putting off big-ticket purchases. For many, plans to buy cars and major appliances are on hold now. Fewer Americans want to buy a home. Demand is at its lowest since 2015. And this sentiment is also reflecting in sales. Home sales have dropped to a two-year low in the U.S. What does all of this mean? When people put off major purchases, they want to make sure they can afford essentials, the basics like food and fuel. When do people fear they may not be able to make ends meet? when they're afraid of losing their jobs. Officially, America's job numbers look good. Unemployment numbers are below 4%, and that's a good thing. But people fear they could lose their jobs in the coming months. I have more numbers. 78% of workers in the U.S. are worried today. They fear they could lose their jobs. Managers also fear they will have to make cuts. 87% of managers say they're likely to order layoffs. So it doesn't matter what the lawmakers say, what their spin is. They might not call the situation a recession yet, but Americans are feeling the pinch. They say, for them, recession is already here. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.